What is up and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, I have a guy doing parkour as my gameplay. I don't know how actually in sync I am with the gameplay, but you know, it was cute. Cute little idea. Might keep it. So today I want to talk about the spectrum of commentary. It's an idea I've been really interested in applied to my own channel a lot and really kind of mess with it in my head on where I want to be on the spectrum. But before I start giving you guys a fucking migraine, let's introduce the concept. So all the way on one end, we have a channel like Opt who uploads multiple times a day essentially the concept we're exploring is that frequency of uploads determines quality of content and vice versa a channel like optimus might upload four times a day and all the videos will by default be very low in production quality whereas on the other side of the spectrum we might have a channel like colossal is crazy who uploads yearly but some might argue that he has the best commentary videos on the platform so we're gonna call optimus's side the left and colossal side the right and we're going to be taking a bunch of commentators and putting them on the spectrum of course i'm talking about the spectrum that we're not already on but without further ado let's hop in so basically optimus would be a number five on the left and colossal would be a number five on the right a channel like pyro cynical i would say is about a 3.5 on the right his content has been longer form since his recent videos have come out his videos will only come out every once in a while allowing pyro to make really good content like i I have to say pyro's last video was one of my favorite videos from 2020 by far a couple years ago i think i would have honestly given him like a one or two on the left but i think that transition that he's done recently was absolutely the best for him all right next up we have leafy i would say about a three on the left his videos have no production quality but he still puts in more than a channel like optimus but only uploads every couple days even though he's banned rest in peace next i'm just gonna do the entire rfc squad okay so let's say Augie is probably like a 4.2 on the left. Nicholas Diorio is probably a good 3 on the right. Turkey Tom probably a 2.5 on the right. Bo Blacks, I would actually put him right smack in the middle. A good 0 even in the middle. If I had to pick a side for Bo Blacks, it would probably be the left side. But yeah, Aiden Projects, probably a 3.8 on the right. So I know this video is called the Spectrum of Commentary, but you can also apply this concept to all of YouTube. Like a YouTuber like The Odd Ones Out might be a 4 on the right, while a YouTuber like Jake Paul might be a four on the left. So a benefit to being on the left side of the spectrum is that you can constantly push out videos and rake in clout a lot faster than someone from the other side. But if you do this, you'll have to be aware that your content will probably be frowned upon by other creators and you'll be looked at as a clout chaser potentially. Now, I would argue that this side has a more linear rate of growth because you're constantly growing, usually at a rate that has no bumps, turns, and it's just overall very linear. While someone on the right side might struggle for years without recognition and eventually have their channel just boom out of nowhere obviously this is the more respectable route and it might even end up getting you way more subscribers than someone else in the long run but this method takes extreme perseverance like a channel that i absolutely love the random shark he was definitely somewhere on the right and he made a lot of really good videos and put a lot of work into them but he was not seeing the recognition that he needed and left now, i'm not saying this is the exact reason why he left youtube i'm just saying that this is an example of why you probably shouldn't start out on the right because it can be insanely jarring to make really good content i see the method on the right as a more exponential form of growth you're chilling at the bottom for a while just hanging out down there and out of nowhere you just boom and you rise to the top this is pretty much what happened to the odd ones out i was a fan of his channel at about 300k and i was telling everybody about him he's just popping up everywhere and all of a sudden the next day he's at like five mil now i want to talk about channels like penguin zero or luke the notable penguin zero is a channel that uploads low quality all the time i'd even put him at a five on the left but he shares characteristics with people on the right and what i mean by that is that he's respected throughout the community you know why because he doesn't farm clout this is a really rare case maybe someone like diesel patches can be an example of this as well but what i would relate to channels like this too is a liberal capitalist or a conservative socialist they primarily belong to one of the two parties but share characteristics with the other party another example of this but from the right side is luke the notable probably a two 
on the right, but I would say he has a very linear form of growth. However, his upload schedule is around once per two and a half weeks, meaning he shares characteristics with the left side, but still on surface level, he is on the right side of the spectrum. You guys probably understand the concepts by now, so I'm pretty much just going to be explaining how I fiddled around with this concept on my channel. I've always uploaded at least two times a week, making me probably on the left side just slightly. Maybe like a one, if I'm being honest. But I still get into this thing where when I start uploading all the time, I begin to lose self-respect. But when I start working really hard on my videos, my irrelevancy becomes extremely apparent. And that's why I believe small channels need to be more on the left side than on the right side, and then maybe transition into a channel on the right side when you've built the fan base like Pyrocynical. But small YouTubers, in my opinion, do need to start on the left so i'll be uploading a lot more i've got a lot of videos in mind i hope you guys enjoyed i certainly did if you want more like this trust me i've got it it's just a bit jarring to make videos like this but anyways that was fucking crazy hopefully i still have a couple viewers left and to you guys you're the fucking man or woman but that's it for me guys i'll see you next time peace peace and stay dank <laughs>